For systems that prefer evaluating students holistically, administrators may prefer to process awards student by student rather than opportunity by opportunity. To approach the awarding process from this perspective, administrators should start by navigating to the General Applications grid. Before proceeding, you may wish to check several columns of data that may be present in this grid. If you've conducted a general application review process, you may wish to view students receiving the highest average reviewer score first. Resort applications from highest to lowest by clicking twice on the reviewer score column heading. As you begin to award funds to applicants, the Academic Work System will keep a count of the total number of awards each applicant receives, as well as the total amount of funding accumulated across all awards. This can be helpful when compiling a particular level of funding for each student. If your institution has a predetermined amount of funding promised to particular students and you're importing this information to Academic Works, you may wish to check this amount as well. Administrators may reorganize the General Applications Grid by dragging and dropping columns into a new order, by hiding certain unnecessary columns of information, or by reordering applications by clicking on any column heading. These customized views can be saved for future reference using the Saved View button at the bottom of the screen. Once a view is saved in your Academic Works system, it can be recalled at any future time by selecting it from the Saved Grid Views dropdown. Administrators must go into each student's qualifying opportunities to extend award offers. To begin, click on the View link beside each student's application. On the next page, click on the name of the student again to quick jump to their user account. Once inside the user account, click on the Applications tab. This page displays all opportunities to which the student has been automatically matched or has manually applied. Click on the name of any opportunity to open up that student's application. Along the top of the page, you should see information confirming whether or not the applicant currently meets all required criteria for the award. If the applicant is not qualified, you're recommended to click your browser's Back button and select a different application. If the applicant is qualified, you may proceed. On the top right, you'll find a button with the current category of the application displayed, typically Submitted. Click on the Category button. A new window will open. You may choose the appropriate category according to your desired workflow. If you'd like students to be notified of their award by email or other messaging and log into Academic Works to accept the award, choose the offered category. You may wish to note the amount of funds and awards available in the opportunity. Type in the amount of funding you'd like to extend and choose an award period tag, if applicable. When finished, click the green Update button. The application will now move to the Offered category, triggering any corresponding communications that may be enabled. To award more funds to the student, click your browser's Back button. Then, click on the Applications tab to locate more of the student's applications to make more award offers. If you don't want to notify students about their award and do not require them to log in and accept the award, choose the Accepted category. You may wish to note the amount of funds and awards available in the opportunity. Type in the amount of funding you'd like to extend to the student and choose an award period tag, if applicable. When finished, click the green Update button. The application will now move to the Accepted category, which does not trigger any corresponding communications. To award more funds to the student, click your browser's Back button. Then, click on the Applications tab to locate more of the student's applications to make more award offers.
If you've enabled a post acceptance questionnaire on an opportunity, moving applications for that opportunity directly to the accepted category will immediately begin the post acceptance stage. This will trigger the post acceptance email alerting students to sign into the system and complete the post acceptance questionnaire. For other recommendations on award periods, post acceptance, communications, and category settings, please visit the Academic Works Help Desk or call 888-376-4252, option 2.